Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new Honda Ridgeline Trail Sport. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Honda here in Murray, Utah, for giving me some time with this Ridgeline. I'm going to include a link to the website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then, on a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 23 on the highway with power outputs being 280 horsepower and then 262 pound VF torque. Now, before you move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see how it's raised there in the center and it kind of falls off a little bit on either side. And then we have the same exact headlights on this as what we have on the Passport. It's a pretty cool design. You've got a little turn signal indicator down below. And then we've got a bunch of gray trim here on the grill. Of course, we have our Trail Sport badge as well. So putting it all together, when you look at it like dead on, you can't tell if it's a Passport or if it's a Ridgeline. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup has 245, 60, 18 on the front and over in the rear. You can see here with the wheels, metallic gray for the coloration. And this Trail Sport package does get all-terrain tires, really cool. And then you can see we've got these unpainted fender flares all along the side with the rest of the trim too. Notice the mirror caps are blacked out. Interestingly enough, this is painted black at the very back, which is kind of weird. But anywho, here is your full side view on this Trail Sport package. And then taking a look at the key fob, we've got our lock and unlock function, remote start, and then we also have the Honda logo there on the back. And we've got the cool swing gate here in the back with the ridge line. It does open up like a regular tailgate, but the cool thing with the swing gate is that you've got this little like trunk here. And yeah, notice everything's all protected from the factory, which is great. Um, but yeah, if we lock that up properly, then you can open it up like a normal tailgate here, which is nice. Got the little kind of like C-shaped tail light here, Trail Sport. And then this is new. Look at that ridge line stamped into the tailgate. I think it actually looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a retro throwback in a way. And then you got the two exhaust tips. But putting it all together, let me you guys think about the looks here with the ridge line. Now popping inside, you can see we've got this kind of like soft touch trim here. We're gonna rest your arm. Got the orange stitching, and then you've got a nice little cup holder. And then taking a look at the seats perforated all down the center and then you can pull this handle so you can lift up the seat uh, there's storage underneath there which is nice and then when it comes to a room uh, for a mid-size pickup truck decent space here with the legs you can see a little storage pocket some vents here in the back a little charging port there and we have a cup holder armrest and then headroom it's good now take a look at the front door panel soft touch here and you can see down below as well all of our window controls front to are automatic, and then you've got your memory seat function, that's for the gas cap release. And then you can see with the mirrors, they do have blind spot monitoring. And then if you're wondering on payload, 1,477 pounds. Trail sport there on the front seat, perforated all down the center. Got your power adjustments on the side. Econ mode here, the mirror adjustment, and then you can see with the parking sensors, lane departure, stability control, collision assist as well. And then the steering wheel is manually adjustable. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you can see perforated on either side, you got the cool stitching around the center. We got practical stuff like our depth cruise control through steering assist, you got your volume voice command controls as well. Paddle shifters on the back for the 9 speed, and you got regular stocks here on the back. Now taking a look at the gauge cluster, um, you guys can see we've got kind of like the digital element there on the side which you can use to see different bits of vehicle information, pretty standard stuff. And then the next cool thing is with the drive modes, it'll pop up here with the three different, or four different modes <laughs> rather. And then in reverse, you do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, it's interesting how it's kind of like flat on the deck, like it kind of cur it's tilted. That's a good word to use for it. Anyways, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, quick response time, physical buttons there on the side, pretty straightforward. And look at this, nice trim all over the dash. Now I've got our dual zone climate controls down below, tri zone actually, because you've got your rear climate. Heated seats, got charging area here with wireless phone charging pad, transmission selector, with your drive mode selector and your auto stop start, and then some cup holders. Look at this with the center console. Nice stitching and padding and everything on top, and then the glove box, yeah, pretty solid. And then up top we do have a sunroof here, and then the uh, power setting rear window as well. Now here's a look at the window sticker for the 
Trail Sport. Um, you guys can see all the standard equipment here. There's your base MSRP, and then here's your trail MSRP, 46830 Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors. Got to do a blast warning. I'll actually adjust that one, but anyways, through the rest of the rear. And let's fix that. Do, do, do. Well, let us set off in. Well, actually, <laughs> I'll get out of the parking lot first, and then we'll set off in the Ridgeline Trail Sport. Let us set off here in the Ridgeline Trail Sport. And now that, why is that mirror down? I am confused with this mirror situation. I swear that one was up. <laughs> it, it's like it never came up from, uh, I think it went down with reverse. It's like it never came up. Weird. Anyways, really comfortable ride. Uh, that's the benefit of this being unibody construction, independent front rear suspension, is it handles really well. And that's a comfortable ride. It's a very comfortable ride. And you don't really feel like you're driving a pickup truck, which some people, that might be a downside, but to other people, it's it's nice. Like, I think it's it's nice to have a vehicle that handles so well that even though I've got a pretty decent sized bed there on the back, I, I don't feel like I'm lugging around a ton of weight and I don't, yeah, don't feel like it's hard to drive by any means. And that's smooth. I think overall it's it's a nice drive. It's a pretty windy day today and you can hear the wind a little bit but the cabin's pretty well insulated. It almost seems like the ridge line's kind of going more for a luxury thing in a way. And get an acceleration here. Yeah, pretty good. I, I mean for a mid-sized pickup truck, it's, it's right where it needs to be power-wise. Doesn't necessarily feel like crazy quick for the segment, but it's, yeah, it's right where it needs to be. And this powertrain's been shown to be, you know, reliable. So enough power and it'll go a long way. So to, you know, something's up here with the Ridgeline Trail Sport here. I think this uh, looks... Pretty cool on the outside. I like the more aggressive tires. I'm glad that Honda is offering some off-road chops on the ridge line from the factory because there's a lot of dealers that have been lifting these and putting bigger tires on them for a while. So it's nice that you can get, you know, even though this isn't uh, lifted, you can get, you know, something that's got a little bit more tire from the, or at least I don't think, it didn't look like it was. I'll, I'll sit it after I, after I, you know, park this, I'll, I'll check out the stock one right next to it, just, or a non-trail sport rather, see if it's any higher, but it didn't really look like it um, yeah the ridge line's a really cool truck and i think that now that people are past the whole truck ego thing people are realizing how cool the ridge line is because of the practicality with the bed and the bed trunk and then the reliability that the ridge line provides and it's you know pretty reasonably priced for what it is uh, other mid-sized pickup trucks now i mean like the new tacoma for example that's you know for a similarly equipped truck you're over fifty thousand dollars now roughly i mean well high high 40s so a little bit more money for a four-cylinder turbo, right? So, let me know what you guys think. I don't know why I stopped there. That was stupid. I didn't have to. It was a green light. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the Ridgeline Trail Sport. Is this a real off-road truck? And I guess the question always has to be asked, is it a real truck? I think so, but yeah, let me know what you think.